Alright, welcome back to part two of this video. We left off being able to loot a box and get some gold. And we made a very basic inventory and vendor system with zero functionality. So let's add that into it right now. So I'm going to do this in order. So as we loot the box, we would go to the vendor next. So let's deal with the vendor. I've already added all these, you should have them too. So, under the button, well actually under the bat, because we added the item here, which is technically our bat, I'm going to add a trigger. And on that, we will add, what is it? Uh, oh, you know what I didn't add? this bat is supposed to be under something else so I'm gonna rename this to bat trigger I'm gonna create a new empty called bat we're gonna move bat trigger under bat so on on bat we will add trigger so on start or is it on enable so on on enable run conditions we're going to add conditions and branch if stats attribute item value equals one then set active this message to true and this message to false so that should determine every time we open it if we have already purchased the bat it will say purchased if not we will be able to purchase it so now oh I was supposed to do that on the trigger anyways whatever you know what I don't care it should still work I guess I don't need the back trigger. We'll just delete that. All right, so now button, we will run conditions, add conditions. So if stat gold, is greater than 999 then stats gold subtract 1000 we will add item plus one so that being our bat we add one bat to our thing we will also set active because this original trigger won't kick in until we close the vendor and open it again so we gotta manually do it as we purchase it as well so we will set active this message to true and this message to false and also we're gonna add a little more into this after we design oh no we have already designed okay so I'm gonna open this inventory as well just turn off our vendor for a second so we will also set active bat in our inventory to true as well And I believe that's mainly it. So now, bat in our inventory. This is where I believe we need a bat trigger. Okay, so create empty bat. We'll move this bat under that. Rename this. Bat trigger.
So trigger. On start. Or on enable. Run conditions. Add conditions. I'm going way too fast for myself. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this wrong. We'll figure it out once I test it. So if. No, let's do on start. On start, if stat item value equals one, then set active bat to true. Okay. I'm not sure what I just did here. Okay. I'm going to test this to make sure I've kind of lost myself here. So right off the bat, no pun intended, I should have nothing. This should say purchase. Okay. And if I click that, nothing happens. So I'm going to loot this. I'm going to purchase this. Make sure that stays purchased yet. Now we have it in our inventory. I'm going to equip it. And yeah, that's where I left off. Okay, things are good. Things are good. So, now what? Inventory. The bat. Okay, so. That is. Equip. Unequip. Okay, so for the equip button. Set active player weapon bat to true unequip button. Oh, okay, so we click that and then also set the unequip button to true as well and then set equip. To false and then this one will be the same thing just opposite so set active bat to false set active equip button to true and then set active unequip button to false save that inventory Close, play. Okay, again, one more time. Make sure we have. Okay, we do have a bat. That's bad. Turn our inventory on. Turn our bat off, but leave the trigger on. Okay. So we have nothing in our inventory. The bat hasn't been purchased. So let's add our gold purchase our bat and look if we keep pressing it no money goes down we own it that's that we have bat we have bat equipped bat unequip bat equip bat unequip close inventory still purchased can't get any more money it's looking pretty solid I could go the extra mile and have combat buttons here that don't appear until the bat is equipped I've done that in another video though, so if you want to check that out, I'm going to let you guys do that on your own, let you practice some. That's pretty much it for this video though, that's a very basic inventory system. Now if you wanted to do the same thing with other items, so I would shrink your bat to somewhere in like this small section, say you have a gun or another melee item, that would be right here. and you would want to say add a trigger say on the bat itself so on the bat wherever it is you'd be you write a trigger like on enable and then set active 
all your items false so that you know when you switch between items it's going to deactivate the other items and that's like a very very basic I go more in depth in it in other videos uh, my survival series I'm not sure if I tackled that in there or not but I uh, that became corrupt so I stopped that series that file just does not work for me anymore that project I do plan on making another series for something else eventually I'm working on a game right now but I haven't bothered to make videos on it but yeah anyways you can also add like different local motions with this bat you know if you want like two-handed animations on equipped and then on disable you take them off but yeah that's a very basic little vendor for you guys there anyways if you guys like this video you know be sure to subscribe it really helps out motivates me to keep making more drop a like on it you know comment some suggestions which you guys would like to see next I've had a few um, some combo attacks um, there's another thing too I, I do want to tackle those eventually but I want to get all these like more basic stuff out of the way stuff that actually helps you make a a game fast combos aren't too important but you know vendor shops are um, now a lot of the issues too sometimes say if you were to quit the game and start back up all your progress is lost uh, one of my very first videos is a save load progress and um, you know if you add the player remember attributes here you should save everything the bat should be purchased still that should still be owned I might go way more in depth on that one day but if you are running into that issue there are workarounds so don't be scared you know in time practice anyways that's it for this video I keep ranting alright don't forget to subscribe leave a like and that's it peace